Hello, Keith here, and today I have an exciting new product to share with you guys. Uh, this is called the Arrow 81. Uh, fans of Express will know uh, when we have a new series name, it's a completely different car, and it's the same with this Arrow. So what the, the Arrow means, it's a shaft-driven four-wheel drive competition touring car. And I'll go over some of the new details with you. Uh, we've kept some of the XQ10 features that we deemed were very good after testing and have adapted it to, the, to this car as well. So starting off, you'll see uh, the low profile upper bulkheads that we've taken from our friends over at X-Square that have, we've been using over these past, past few months on the XQ10 and have incorporated it into the Arrow AT1. You can see in the front and the rear. And we've changed the camber link mount as well with uh, different play plates you can use that have different widths. So you can change the camber link length. Onto the bulkheads, uh, we've moved the position of the anti-roll bar to a lower position for a lower center of gravity and better performance because of physics and stuff. Uh, included are some aluminum ball studs as well for smoother operation. The battery mount will come standard as well, as well as these grey ball cups that are more smoother than the black ones that we've used in the past and were an option part in the XQ10. Also an included option part in the AT1 is this adjustable Ackerman steering plate. So you can change Ackerman very easily by just changing the insert inside the steering rack. And you can see this, uh, there's not much space to, to mount a fan. So we've designed the motor mount that you can install a fan easily with just the screw here. So a 40 or 30 millimeter will fit as well. We've brought over the plastic parts from the XQ10R. So you can see the body support posts here and the plastic parts as well. For the shocks are also taken over from the XQ10R the low profile long travel. For the servo mount, it's uh, floating, does not affect chassis flex as much. And onto the chassis plate, you can see there's some a lot of flex options as well that you can adjust. And stay tuned for our second part where we'll go over the transmission details because it's a lot of details and new stuff that we've never seen before. So stay tuned to our second part.